Hi, this is Hiromi from EasyShip. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the EasyShip checkout for your Shopify store. Once you have enabled EasyShip's dynamic checkout tool, you'll be able to offer full transparency with dynamic rates at checkout to improve conversion by up to three times and decrease cart abandonment rates. You'll also give your customers the choice of their preferred shipping options, ranging from the cheapest, the best value, and the fastest and at the same time, offer them full visibility in the delivery times and taxes and duties. Let's get started. Let's start this by first showing you what a typical Shopify checkout looks like to clients. Very often, sellers adopt a flat rate shipping model where a single rate is charged for shipping a package, regardless of weight or size. Sellers can often be enticed to use flat rate shipping because it may simplify shipping where one price pays for a decent amount of weight to any destination. However, what's easiest for the seller isn't always the best for the buyer. The problem with using a courier's flat or fixed rate is that they are often unclear and doesn't provide much context for the buyer. As you can see, this static checkout doesn't provide any information on taxes, duties, or the courier. For overseas customers, this could definitely be a turnoff as there is no way of knowing if they will need to pay for additional fees upon delivery. There is also the argument that using the courier's flat rate can save money. However, calculating the break-even point to figure out cost savings requires a very complicated comparison of package volume, weight, and distance. Most of the time, unless the items being sent are very heavy, the regular rates usually end up being cheaper. Another option that small businesses might go for is figuring out their own flat rate shipping based on averaging out all the costs of their shipments. But this method also requires a lot of analysis. Also, this average will change over time, and if overall costs rise without adjusting the average, money will often be lost. In comparison, this is the easy ship dynamic checkout feature that customers will now see instead. At EasyShip, we believe we can do better by giving your customers full transparency by displaying calculated rates at checkout that will allow buyers to have access to competitive shipping rates based on their location. In this day and age, by providing more options to buyers, conversion rates will likely increase because they have the flexibility to now choose which shipping method they want. With EasyShip, we populate the three best shipping options starting with the cheapest, the best value, and the fastest so that customers now wanting to pay for faster shipping methods will now have that choice, while others who don't mind waiting a little longer can choose either the cheapest or the best value. Sellers can now show the breakdown of shipping costs, which include any taxes and duties incurred for your international customers, allowing full visibility once again for your buyers. Also, data back lead times can also be shown and the courier service scores. Through our research and feedback given by users, they have found that conversion has increased by up to three times because they have also experienced more customer satisfaction due to less inquiries on shipping. So let me show you how you can get started. Over here, you can see that your store has already been connected. So the first thing that you do is you go to the product listing tool. So under the product listing tool, you will simply click on add products and sync it in from your Shopify store. Once you do that, you will be able to first see that we pull in your Shopify SKUs without the dimensions. So all you would have to do is click on the Shopify product or select all of them and click on edit selected. Simply use the bulk editor tool to edit your product. So you would do that by choosing a category. So mine would be fashion. And the next thing that you would do is add in the dimensions. So I would add in something simple like six by six by three or whatever the dimension of your product is. And all you would have to do is click on save. Once you save all your product dimensions, the next thing that you would have to do is go to your boxes setting. So at EasyShip, the way that we determine the cost of shipping is that we pull the specific number of SKUs that your customer orders and we calculate that upon checkout and match it with the correct box to give the most cost-effective price to your customers with those three options. So inputting in your product dimensions and your box sizes is very important. So you can do that by clicking add a new box, 
typing in the name of your box and the dimensions and the empty box weight, and click on Save. So once you do that, we will be able to populate the shipping cost at checkout. So the next thing that you would have to do is activate your checkout. And you will simply find that by clicking on Connect, clicking on your EasyShip store, and you will arrive at this page. Click on Activate and Activate once again. And you will just have to put in the default dimension per product that you will want us to use in the event that you do not enter in or edit your product listing to put in a default dimension so that we can pull this default dimension when there is no dimension in your product listing. So once you click on activate, your checkout is now active. So after that, once you click on settings, you will be able to see and alter anything that your customer will see at your checkout. So any additional processing times that you need can be entered here. Any taxes and duties that you want to be displayed to your customers can also be displayed here. And any free or discounted shipping that you want to add can be added here as well. So career scores, whether or not you want to show that to your customer, simply click hide to hide it and show the show. And any pickup fees that if you want to include it in um, the total cost of shipping at checkout, simply toggle this on or off. And once you click on save, your checkout is now active with all your settings applied as well. So let's ensure that your easy ship set as the shipping option is properly turned on in your Shopify account. So you would just have to go to Shopify and click on settings. And from settings, you would click on shipping and click on manage rates under general shipping rates. So from here, you can see that currently I do not have any zones or any rates enabled. So let's create one together. So let's create a zone and let's do the rest of the world. And I'm just going to name it rest of the world. And once I click on done, I can add a rate. So from here, you would just have to click on use carrier or app to calculate rates. And just make sure that easy ship is selected here. And you can even toggle on all the services that you want to use. And let's just click done. If you're planning to use easy ship for, let's say the rest of the world, you can just simply do one option here instead of building one out for the United States and one for different zones. But let's say you want to have separate shipping zones. You can do that as well. And let's just make one for the United States. Let's select all of them. And when I click on done, I'll be able to add a rate here. And you can once again use carrier or app to calculate the shipping rates and toggle on different services that you want to use for a specific country. And once I click on done, click on save. Easy Ship is now active on your checkout. So let me show you what the flow will look like for your client. So after they put in their shipping address, they will see all these career options here. And once they select the one that they want and they continue the payment and they pay for the item itself, all you would have to do is click on add shipments and sync it in from your Shopify store. And you will be able to see the shipment over here. And you can click on edit courier to see that this was based on your customer's choice. Now that I have demonstrated how you can activate your checkout on Shopify, you have the tools you need to do this in your account. If anything wasn't clear or you experienced something different to what you just saw when you attempted this yourself, our customer service team will be more than happy to assist you. We also have other instruction videos on our YouTube channel and in our help center. I recommend you check those out also. Thanks for watching and happy shipping.